Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Rio's How To. This one is how to read a lake. In other words, how do you find fish in a big lake like this? Well, step one is look for rising fish. If you've never been to the lake before, you have no idea where to go and you get to this lake, you find yourself, you look around and you look for rising fish because that is the best clue you can get of where the fish are and also what they're doing. If you get to this lake and you don't see rising fish, well, that's a little bit harder, particularly if you've never been there before. But there's clues. There's a lot of clues in lakes that help you find fish and at least get an idea of where to fish and increase your chances. Some of them are geographical, topical, like points, promontories sticking out because fish cruise the banks and when they come to a promontory, then they swim around. If you're fishing off the point, great, you're closer to those fish. Bays are good as well, especially if the wind is blowing into a bay because it's blowing natural food into the bay. Look at the lay of the land. Is it a gentle slope into the water? Is it a steep slope? A gentle slope will tell you, if you kind of follow that gentle slope in, that the gradient underwater is fairly shallow. So you get shallow water there. Fishing floating lines, midge tips, lines like that are great in, in those shallower sections. Some conditions just hey, you need to get down. It's cold, it's boiling hot, it's a bright, bright sunny day. Guess what you do? You look for those steeper banks, banks that are a little bit more, got an incline to them. It tells you the incline's gonna give you some deeper water, much better chance of catching fish if you need to get down by looking at the gradient of the land. Another one, streams. Look around, if streams are flowing into the lake, guess what that's doing? It's bringing oxygen down, that's great in the summer, cooler water, it's bringing in insects and bugs, so those are your kind of geographical features you can look for. But in addition to the geographical features, then look at the water surface, because the water surface can also tell you a few things. There's natural things called slicks. Slicks are probably, probably the, if I don't see a rising fish, it's probably the first thing I look for. And a slick, it's like somebody's poured a bit of oil on the water surface. The whole area, a whole long lane of this, this water is calm. You've got ripples all around it, you've got this calm lane, and that little calm lane's called a slick. And why it's so good is because that calm lane, any natural bugs that are hatching or landing on that, in that calm lane are not moving along and being blown along in the, in, the, in the ripples like everything else. Fish know that. They target slicks. They look for slicks. They, they're cruising around. When they start to see slicks and they find slicks, the fish will start to swim up slicks. Even if they're not feeding on the surface, they're keying in on these, these telltale signs called slicks. Something similar to a slick is a wind lane or a bubble lane. You know, sometimes you get wind currents and, and what you'll see is the bubbles will blow together and you'll have this long string of bubbles or wind lanes as they can also be called. And the same thing's happening is the wind and the current is creating these channels. And again, fish hone in and target these channels. You're looking for things like the edge of a ripple and the calm. So if a wind's blowing on the bank, you'll find there's a calm area and there's a ripple area. That's a great spot. Fish around that edge of that calm and ripple, fish like the calm and ripple edge. That's good. Look for weed beds poking up. Insects live in weed beds, so look for weed beds. That's another good thing to look for. So there are a lot of telltale signs and kind of clues as where you want to fish when you go fishing to a lake, even if it's a brand new one that you've never been to before. And apart from the rising fish, probably the other best clue I can give you is go to and talk to your local tackle shop. If it's a new lake and you don't know where the tackle shop is, Google it. Find a fly shop that's nearby to that lake and just ask the locals there because they'll give you a lot of clues. Oh, you need to go off a point here and here's a map and here's a bay. So that's a really good tip. Find a local fly shop and talk to those. And if not, look for rising fish, look at the geographical features. There's clues. So lake fishing really isn't just turning up to a big expanse of water and just hoping. Read the clues, increase your chances of catching fish. About all there is to it. So there you go, little episode on how to read a lake. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully there's a couple of tips there. Maybe one day you'll get to a lake and find this slick and catch some fish out of it. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the episode, stay tuned. Look at the Rio website. There's a whole bunch more of great how-to episodes on there. Thanks again for watching.